Welcome to Live Doff, your online Doff Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem and welcome back. Today's Daf Hayyem is Masechet of Adizor, Daf Samech Tes. We begin at the Mishnah, which is 11 lines off the top of the Amit. So you have a guy involved in uh, transporting barrels of kosher wine, sealed barrels, no issue of a guy touching or anything. The question is, what's, what's the status of that wine? Once it was sort of placed in the care of the guy. So the answer is, if there is supervision, if there is a reason for the guy not to touch the wine, not to you know open and drink, and then you're safe. But otherwise, if he feels comfortable, he feels at liberty. He knows you're not coming back for a while, and then he might be tempted to tamper with the wine. The wine is no longer kosher. Says the Mishnah. Uh, the first of the uh, three examples of this halacha is, Oivet kechavim sheyemavir im Yisrael or li Yisrael so the guy was transporting for the uh, for the yid some uh, containers with wine, kosher wine, mokim mokim, from one place to the next. What's the status of that wine, which was basically placed under the guy's, you know, uh, control for a while? Im If the wine was deemed under supervision, under the uh, watchful eye, so to speak, of the yid. It is, if it's considered, if it's deemed guarded, we'll see in a minute what that means, then in fact the wine is still mutter, because we know the guy would not touch it for concern that the, the Yid might uh, walk in on him and, and catch him in the act. But, im if the Yid tells the guy, look, uh, take care of these barrels, I'll be back in a while, I'm going away, uh, take care of a couple of things, I'll be back in a while. Okay, mafl means going far away. In this case, the guy uh, perhaps feels at liberty to touch the wine and to take a drink. So in this case, there is an issue. If the, um, the guy was left with the wine long enough to, to allow him, yishtaim means to actually drill a hole in the barrel. Yista means to plug it up with some filler of ego and let it dry and then you can't, you know, tell that it was patched up because it you know ends up the same color as the surrounding material. So if he was left long enough to accomplish that feat, to drill in, to take a drink and you know, cover his tracks, then there's trouble. Rabbi Shimgam Leilimer, he says, no, a guy wouldn't necessarily, you know, resort to such a you know, desperate attempt at uh, siphoning off some wine in a manner that he might be, he might be uh, discovered, it might be detected if it's, you know, just a patch. Rather, the concern is only if he was left long enough to allow the guy to actually properly open up the barrel, you know, remove the cap which had been plastered onto the, remove it, take a drink, and replace it with a new cap. And, you know, plaster it back and have it Fully dry. So Shimon Leilimer, it's not enough just to give him, a, you know, a couple of minutes to drill. That's not, he's not going to do that. Kadesh Yiftach as a chav is provided. It's all the concern if, if, if the guy has enough time to actually open the barrel completely, pull off the, uh, the cap, if replace it with a new one and plaster it on, seal it properly with sigav and let it dry. Okay, so if the uh, guy took control of the wine for a very, very short time, there's no issue. Certainly, if he expects the Israel back at any given moment, there's no issue there. But if he informed him that he's leaving for a while, in that case, um, if he was left uh, with the wine, with, an, with adequate time to uh, siphon and cover his tracks, there's a problem. Going to Nakama, even just a little drill and a plug, that's all he needs. Going to the uh, Shita of Ramashim Leon. It needs to allow him, to, uh, the, the, uh, the, the time span must suffice for actually replacing the cap completely. Second example of the same halach is Hamaniach Yenu Bekarna Besvina, he left the wine in a wagon and in a boat. Balachlai Bekap and Raya, he took a shortcut, you know, the, uh, the wagon got, you know, was um, not able to get through the alleyways, so he left the, uh, the wagon there with the guy 
and he took the uh, shortcut uh, through the alley into town. Nichnas la Medina Varachat, so he went into the city, took a you know, took a shower, went to the bathhouse, motor, it's okay because even though it was a while that he was gone from the wine. There's no issue because the guy doesn't know his plans. He's thinking, look, he might uh, return at any moment. So he's deterred from touching the wine. But he told the guy, he's going to be gone for a while. So back to the old uh, concern that the guy may have tampered, may have drilled, may have opened. So we have those two shiurim, Tanakama requires that the, uh, the absence be, be shorter than Kadesha Yis Shishtaim Vi Yis Taim Vi Yigayv. Less time than what allows the guy to drill, to plug, to let it dry. It's enough time to replace the cap. Third example, the same halach is, he left the guy in, in, the, you know, in the store to look after the, uh, look after the wine. No issue. Even though the uh, owner is in and out, it's okay because he wouldn't dare touch the wine. He knows uh, he's meant to keep away. But if he told him, look, I'm going to be going uh, far away, be gone for a while, so again, that triggers a concern of tampering, and it's only considered safe if the lapse of time was shorter than So the, the guy was sitting together with the Yidin, eating on the, uh, around the table. Of course, uh, Yid was eating kosher food, and there was some wine there as well. The Yid left some bottles on the table, and also vlog another pitcher on the dulbaki on the serving table next to the regular table. And he left the guy there with the, with the wine, and he walked out for a minute. Any wine on the table is considered asr for concern. It's a very real concern. The guy would have reached out and touched that wine. He's figuring, look, the Yid invited me for lunch, of course. Uh, I'm at liberty to touch the wine. But that's only the bottles on the table. But Sha'Allah Dulbuki, the bottles on the uh, serving table, that's not really being served yet. So he has no business touching that. He has no right to touch. Mutter, we assume he didn't touch it and it's okay. But if Amr Leif, the Yid actually offered him, he said, Have a Moizik Vishoisa, please uh, prepare yourself a drink. Even though he didn't specify, take from the Dulbuki, in this case, the guy really feels at ease touching all the wine because he was actually explicitly invited to have a drink af sha'al hadulbaki us even the bottles on the uh, other table is us what about the barrels in the house chavis psuchos asuris open barrels are us because again in this case the guy feels at ease touching all the barrels and taking drinks stumas mitaris but if they're sealed then their mutter we're not going to assume that he went and tampered kadesh yiftach v'zigayf provided the um, the Yid was only gone a short amount of time without giving the guy the opportunity to uh, replace the, the caps, you know, to open the barrels, replace the caps, and have it dry to match the uh, surrounding material, to blend into the rest of the barrel. Okay, so the mission speaks about basically three variations of the same halacha. Wine left in the care of a guy, if there is a reason for him not to touch it, he's concerned about the Yid's imminent arrival, that's okay. But otherwise, it poses a concern of tampering, of forging the, uh, the ceiling, the, you know, the, the seals and the caps. According to Nakamo, if he had an opportunity to drill and plug it up and, you know, have it dry, then it's a problem. Provided he had enough time to switch the cap. The mission began with a, a lotion. That the guy who was handling the ba- barrels, Im muter, if it was if it was deemed, you know, uh, under watch, then it's okay. The mission doesn't define for us what that means. Was somebody really watching the wine? 
And of course it's okay. There's no goes without saying. Hey Khidamich Bekheskas Amishtam, how do we define this this phrase? It was Bekheskas Amishtam or it was presumed to be under guard. Khdisanya. In similar fashion to the halacha in the next price. Now the uh, next price rather than um, discussing Yainesach discusses a similar uh, issue where you have uh, you know fruit produce which is considered tahir and it was um, put under the uh, the care of a of an amaretz a fellow who's not very uh, stringent with the halachas of of tuma. So Harish Hoyochamorov Upoyalov to Unin Taharis. He had the uh, donkey drivers, the uh, delivery men, Upoyalov, his workers, to Unin Taharis, loaded up with uh, produce which was considered tohar. I feel he flew me mill, even if the uh, the boss took a walk. He went far away. He uh, a mill away, very far away, where he can no longer keep an eye on them. They're on their own. Tarus of his his uh, produce, his uh, material, tarus are still considered to her. But if he and if he told them, Lechu, look, you you go ahead, Vani Bachrechem, I'll come, you know, I'll come behind you, I'll come. In this case, they're on their own. Kivenshin is Alma Einoi Mehem. As soon as he loses, you know, eye contact, Tarois of Timaeus, his items are presumed to be Tommy. So in the, in the first case, they're okay. In the second case, where he told them to go ahead, they're Tommy. Now, what's the difference? My generation, my generation safer. Look here. They were loaded up, they were touching it. If they're presumed to be Tommy, then either way, the weed is tummy. What's the difference between the first case and the second? Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Reisha, the first case, is speaking with Metair. He, he put them in a the mikvah. He ensured that they are to her. Chamar of of his workers, Lukach for this purpose. He prepared them for the job. They're to her. So their, their contact with the material doesn't affect it. So then in the second case as well, if they are to her, what's the issue? Answer is, Ein Amaretz, this fellow who's an Amaretz is typically not very strict or concerned. Makbed, he's not very meticulous. Al Maga Chaveru, to prevent his friend an Amaretz, who, who's, uh, who's tummy, to touch, you know, things that touch him and things that he's holding. So that poses a concern about the load that he's carrying. He might have encountered. He might have encountered his friend on the road, who may have touched his uh, material. Then back to the first case in the Bryce. The concern is not on account of the actual delivery man, just his friend on the road. So uh, he may have touched it. It should be a tummy. Why is it different in the Rish? I'm a rough. I'll tell you why. In the uh, first case, we're speaking that the uh, bala bias, the employer, the boss, can quickly make his way back here. So although he seemed to walk away, but he can quickly, you know, turn around the bend and uh, and catch them on the other side. So they're not sure where he's going to come from. He can come from here, from there. So even though they, they know that he took a walk, but he can can show up at any moment, unexpected. They'll be careful to protect the integrity of the of the uh, delivery. Yochi say for Nami. Oh, if that's the case, that the owner is right around the bend. So in the second case as well, his items should be considered protected. The answer is not the answer is like this. Keep him to him. Since he told him, he informed them, look, go ahead, I'll be coming later. Luchu, go, Vani Bachrech, I'm gonna come behind you. Some you in this case, they feel secure feel safe. He's not coming for a while and uh, he won't notice their uh, shenanigans in which case we have to be concerned about these, the uh, integrity of the delivery. Okay, so back to the, uh, the Mishnah. Right, how do we get into this? Because we were looking for the uh, translation. How do we define Becheskas HaMishtamer? 
right? The Mishnah says that if the uh, the wine placed under the uh, care of the guy is becheskas hamishtamer, then it's safe. What does that mean? The answer is just like in this case with the taharis loaded on the amaretz. If you can show up any moment unexpected, that place is a deterrent factor and discourages the amaretz from uh, meddling with the uh, with the material. Likewise, the guy wouldn't touch the wine. If there's any chance that the yid might show up unannounced. However, if he told the, uh, the guy, look, I'm going to be gone for a while, then he feels comfortable touching the wine. And uh, unless it's a very short span of time, which doesn't allow for the uh, guy to actually you know, cover his tracks, right? anything longer than that poses a tampering concern. And we have three variations of this halach, three cases. One was the, uh, the guy transporting the barrels. One was the, um, the guy left behind in the, uh, in the wagon or the boat. Third case was the guy left in the store. And all three we say that um, if uh, the Jew's return is imminent and unexpected, and the guy wouldn't touch it. Now why, why uh, three cases to highlight the same halach? All three are necessary. They all have a, uh, something unique about them. Ditan Ovid Gechavn. If the um, Mishnah would only cite the first example of the guy transporting the barrels, Ditan Ovid Gechavn, the Savar were there. I can very well explain and understand why the guy feels unsafe touching. Duma Asi Vechazil, because the Jew might show up at any moment and notice his activity. Aval Bekorun, a Besfina Barvitzana, a wagon or a ship. He figures, look, Israel is out. I'll take the ship and, you know, take it around the bend or the wagon, right? I'll get out of the way. Nobody will see me. Eimo, the mafal is finasse. Velvet, my boy, you could just uh, drive the boat away. Do what he needs to do and come back. No, the answer is, he's afraid to do that. Vitana bekorin besfina, on the other hand, if the Mishnah would cite this example, and not the next one, Mishnah desover, because in that case, there is a deterrent factor, Duma, because he's thinking, look, yeah, I can drive the boat around, but maybe the yid will come around the bend and notice. Because good, I'll stand at the uh, river uh, you know, bank and notice me from the other side. Because he knows what I'm doing. So he's deterred. But third case, <coughs> when the guy is actually in the store, perhaps there is an additional concerning factor. We can say, maybe the guy would just slam the door. Right, close it up. Vavid called the boy. He'll do what he needs to do. He'll go uh, have a drink. Right. So perhaps the case of the store is worse than the case of the of the boat. Vavid might call the boy. He'll do what he wants. Kamashman, the point is no. Unless he had told him he'll be gone for a while. The guy is afraid to touch, to tamper, lest he be co- be caught red-handed. Okay. So how long is an issue? According to Tanakamu. As long as it takes to, you know, drill that hole and plug it up and have it dry, you know, slightly to match the, uh, you know, the color of the uh, of the barrel. According to the other shita, Rabbi Shimon Lil, that's not enough time. He wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't do that because uh, it's not a perfect job. He, he would only be tempted if, in fact, he can, he has an ample time to replace the whole cap and do a good cover job. Amar Rabbi when the Chachamim uh, say there's a concern about a, a drill and a plug, that's only if the barrel is made of sid, which is like some sort of plaster, which is a light color, like a white plaster. So then he can easily cover his tracks by just plugging it with the same material, and then, you know, then it looks the same. Avol b'shal tit, but if the barrel is made of tit, the, the, the cap is made of tit, which is a darker type of cement, like a blacker type of cement, and then it you know, eventually dries up and, and gravitates to the uh, color of the dried tit, which is more like a lighter, like a more like a whitish color surrounding the area. In this case, all agree, even Tanakam would agree, the guy wouldn't dare tamper, just make a hole and plug it, because then you'll see the difference. This is black and the surrounding is white. In this case, all agree, they 
The concern is only if there's ample time for him to replace the whole cap. The shiiftach to open the whole cap, v'yigayv, and replace it with a new one, v'yigayv, and let it, you know, uh, dry slightly, in which case it's not noticeable. Meisvi, here comes a kash. On Rabbi Yechon, who says that if it's, uh, it's made of tit, even the Rabbon agree. There's no concern about just, you know, improvising with just a, a hole and then plugging it. Because then it's noticeable. Meisvi, it comes a kash on that. Omar Rabbi Shimon Lil Chacham. So Rabbi Shimon turns to Chacham. Why would you think the guy would you know, just drill a hole and plug it? Well, Shitumai Nikar. This, uh, this tampering, this uh, hole, and it's easily detectable. It's noticeable. He'll discover the rules right away. Nikar Beimelamal, you see it right on top. Beimelamal or on bottom. You see it on top because it, it doesn't match the surrounding material. This is dark and that's light. And on the bottom as well. If you look on the bottom, of it, when he eventually opens the, the cap, you'll see that the, the filler material, it's not... It's not uh, Likely it's going to actually fill the whole hole and really just be level, completely smooth and level with the, with the uh, bottom surface of that, of that cap. Because remember, the cap is, is still on the barrel. He's filling it from the top. He's pushing in filler material. Chances are it's not going to really fill it perfectly, in which case later on the jewel will detect this tamper. So therefore, it's not likely that it'll do this. Now, let's analyze Rabbi Shimon Liel's position. This all works well if, in fact, their discussion pertained to this type of uh, scenario. That the, uh, the cap was made of tit, which is dark cement, which eventually lightens. And still the Chacham say, we're concerned that he may have punctured it and filled it. That explains what Rabbi Shimon Liel argued to them. He says, look, You'll notice the plug. You'll notice that he opened it up. Whether you look on the bottom or on top, because on top it's a mismatched color. On the bottom you'll see it's uneven. Eliam special said machlekes, but according to Rabbi Yechon, machlekes only pertains to Sid, where it's light color to begin with. There's no mismatch in the color. So Bishlam Milamati, I understand why he was saying that it could be still noticed on bottom, because it's not even on the bottom. Elam Malahul but on top, it's not discernible. Because it matches the color of the surrounding uh, cap. Says the Gemara, you're right. Although the, the Machlekes, although the Chacham, we're only referring to Sid. But Rabbi Shimon Liel, who the Loya Makam Rabban? He wasn't sure the Rabbanon, what we're saying. So he covered all the bases, all the options. He meant to tell them like this. Look, if you're concerned that he may have drilled through the dark cement, in that case, I'm not concerned for two reasons. It's noticeable on bottom because it's uneven. And noticeable on top because it takes time for it to dry and reach the same shade of, of, of color to the, uh, to the uh, material surrounding it. And if, in fact, you're only speaking about a light-colored cap to begin with, right? in which case the uh, color match is not an issue because the, the Sid that he'll use to plug the hole will automatically match the surrounding area. True. His tamper will not be noticed on top because it's going to match. Nevertheless, on the bottom, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to look even. So why would the guy risk this? The Rabbanon respond. Since it won't be immediately noticeable on top because of the color match, the guy's not thinking, okay, the Apech of Chazlet, the Israel, will uh, suspect that there's something wrong, and he'll inspect the bottom of the, of the cap eventually when he opens it up. So he's not thinking along those lines. He's thinking, look, since it's uh, perfectly, uh, perfect job on top, the Israel will not even think, not even fathom to check the bottom. Inami, or he can be thinking, Zilma the Chalim, it can happen that the, uh, the filler would pushed down perfectly. And even when it's looked at from the bottom, it will be smooth and even to the rest of the surface. Okay, so again we have this machlekes, leaving the guy with, a, with wine, 
when he doesn't expect the yid to imminently return. How long is the concern? According to Tanakama, the drill and pluck. According to Shemuel, replace the cap. According to Rabbi Eichanan, the Rabbanon's concern about drilling and plugging is only when it's sit, light colored plaster to begin with, in which case there's no issue of mismatch, as opposed to when it's tit, which starts off being very dark. He's not going to risk that, because then his plug will be dark and mismatch the surrounding area. Amarava, what's the halacha? How long is an issue? Kedam Shingam Liel, to replace the cap. How do I know? Hoyel, Vetnan, stomach of a say, because if you take a look at the next part of the Mishnah, there is a part of the Mishnah which is a Stam Mishnah, without a name, right? anonymously stated by Rabbi HaKadosh, unopposed, which conforms to this Shita of cap replacement. It's not. Look at the Mishnah. Hayoichel, Imoy Alash, Al Dulduki, so the Al Ashulchan, Vinyach, Logan Al Ashulchan, Logan Al Dulduki, right? That's the last case of the Mishnah. He was having lunch with him and he left the uh, wine on the table, wine on the uh, wine on the serving table, Vinyach, Vyats, and left it and left. Wine on the table is asr, for concern of the guy having touched it, but on the serving table is okay. If he invited the guy, go, have a drink, have a muz, muzik, v'shoyse, then everything is a problem. What about the barrels in the house? The open ones are a problem. The closed ones are safe. Provided he didn't leave him there long enough to allow him to switch the cap. There's enough time to open the barrel, Replace the cap and let it uh, dry. So this Tam Mishnah is in line with Rabbi Rishon Gamliel. Apparently, that's the halach. Well, Pshita, obviously. I mean, why is Rabbi have to teach? I mean, it, we, we all see the Mishnah. Stam Mishnah is going like this Shita. Of course, we pass like that. All the time, perhaps I can think and say, this isn't really a separate section of the Mishnah. It's really just a continu- continuation of Rishon Gamliel's presentation, right? Look back at the Mishnah, you have Tanakama, which gives a shorter time span. Shemuel gives a longer time span. Then it continues with the story of the table and the Dulbaki. Perhaps it's all Shemuel Lil speaking. It's not a Stam Mishnah, it's his opinion. Stated in the Mishnah. Now the Tema, Kula. Until the very end of the Mishnah, it's from Shemuel Lil, it's him speaking. Kamashman, the point of Rav is to say no. The last section is not Shemuel Lil, it's the Stam Mishnah, and highlighting that we pass, we adopt, from Shemuel Lil's Shita. Asks the Gemara, okay, so if that's the case, we're passing like uh, that shita. I'm not concerned about, you know, the guy improvising a quick, you know, a drill and a drink. And likewise, we have a halacha of Rebbe Lezer, back on the Lamar Aleph, who says that even when something is single sealed, without a double seal, the guy wouldn't bother, you know, tampering, he wouldn't risk the uh, chance of getting caught. So if that's the case, let's combine these two factors. On one hand, we pass on like him. We're not concerned about this, uh, you know, improvised snack with this, you know, drilling and and. We're not concerned about the guy forging the the uh, the seals. So then, nowadays, my time. Why don't we allow Gaim to handle our uh, barrels, which have just one seal? Why do we need double seals to make it even more? Di- even one seal provides enough barrier, enough deterrent, enough hardship. He wouldn't bother. The answer is Mishim Shaykh. True, he wouldn't drill, he wouldn't. But something called Shaykh, Rashi says, they had this really like, like a pinhole, a little teeny hole running through the barrel. I guess like a pressure release to allow the... Uh, the acid or whatever accumulates from the fermentation process to, to leave, to, uh, to exhaust. So that little teeny pinhole can provide the guy an opportunity to have a drink. As she says, so oh, enlarge it a bit and go take a drink without being noticed. So that's our concern. That, that's, that's present in all situations. and Therefore, we can't trust the guy with a barrel of wine. Amarav, zoin no if you have a geisha woman who's an immoral woman, be strong, masubin, etz, and they're yidin, patronizing her. So they're sitting there having a drink. Cham Rashari, the wine, which is kosher wine, they brought it along with them. So uh, it's still considered kosher. We're not concerned that she handled the wine. Why? And he, the talk of Luitzu Davir, although they're drawn into the Yitzhara of Avera, interaction with a geisha woman, but 
Yitzra Diyay Nesav Le Takavzal. We assume that they're not drawn after the Yitzhahara, the desire of being, of being involved in Yay Nesav. So certainly they would guard their wine and make sure she doesn't handle it. On the other hand, you have a Zayna, an immoral woman who happens to be a Jewish Israelist. And there are goy, Goyim spending time with her and having their wine there. Chamra Asr. So although the wine was originally kosher wine, she provided the wine, it's Asr. Why? Because certainly they will handle it and she'll allow them. My time, why? Hoyal of Vizila alive since. They hold her in very low regard. Basrayo Grira. She'll be drawn after them. Intimidated by them, she won't stop them from, uh, you know, touching and handling their her wine. In which case, is considered usher. Okay, so not sure we had the idea of a guy looking after kosher wine. If there's a deterrent factor, for instance, if the yid is slated to return unexpectedly, then the wine is kosher. But otherwise, if he was left long enough to tamper with the wine, it's. Uh, it's Asr. How long? We have Tanakama, a shorter time. Shingam Lil, a longer time. And the more possible of Shingam Lil. We had the uh, case of the wine with the Zaina, when it's a concern and when it isn't. All the best to you and Hatzlachara.